Hi friends, I am Gastro Guru and welcome to Gastro Guru Kitchen. Today for you, I'm going to be preparing filet mignon. Yes sir, filet mignon, you know that is the most tender and rich cut of meat and so we're going to cook it a little differently and we're going to keep it simple. So let's get started. All right friends, so here I have filet mignon steak. I have three pieces, two medium size and one small. And look how delicious and tender they look already. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to season them generously with coarse salt. I'm using sea salt and you know you have to make sure that you put ample of that and then I'm going to put crushed black pepper on top. Oh yeah, and then we'll return it and do the same thing to the other side. And that's a coarse salt. And then again, lots of crushed black pepper. looks awesome. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cook them in a cast iron skillet. So let's go to that process now. All right so here we have the cast iron skillet which is hot. You can see the smoke coming out and to that I'm going to add about two tablespoons of canola oil. Okay. Make sure that the pan is nicely coated with the canola oil. And you can see how you know the smoke is coming out and that, that means that the oil is also going to get hot real fast. So at this point what we're going to do is so spread the oil so that the whole pan is coated evenly. Oh yes. And then we're gonna be putting our filet mignon pieces, steaks in it. Do you hear the sizzle? Do you hear the sizzle? That's how we want it. Now what we're gonna do is leave them like this for two minutes and then flip them and cook them for two more minutes and then we'll go to the next step. So see you in two minutes. All right friends, so it's been two minutes and we flipped the steaks. They look awesome. Look at that. Looking fantastic. Same thing over here. So now the next step. We're going to be adding some water to our cast iron pan and to our filling in space. Oh yeah, we're going to add about three tablespoons for our three steaks. Oh yeah. So we'll make sure that the bottom gets coated too with butter. Fantastic. Ooh, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Gotta be careful. Oh yeah. Check that out. Check that out. All right, so the next thing we're going to add is some thyme and rosemary to you know, season it nicely. Oh, yes. We have the rosemary and thyme in there. And then we're going to add three cloves of garlic. 
And again, we don't need to sharpen. This is just to give it a flavor. Okay? So that's what we're gonna do. And since the handle is hot. Oh yeah. We're gonna let the butter and the garlic do its thing. Give it a good flavor. You love that scissor, don't you? So now what we're going to do is, you know, we'll get the butter and put it on top. Oh yeah. Garlic, rosemary, and thyme flavored butter. Oh yeah. Look at that. Check that out. Oh my goodness. That looks fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let that cook for a minute more and then we're going to put the steaks out on the cutting board and we're going to let them be like that for about eight minutes. We're not going to slice it or cut it or eat it before that because otherwise the juices will start running out and a filet mignon pieces will become really dry. So we'll just let this thing do its thing for a minute and then we're gonna plate it. We're gonna take it off the skillet and onto the chopping block, cutting board, whatever you wanna call it. Oh yeah. Alright friends, so it's been about a little over a minute, so we'll turn the heat off. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to remove the filet mignon pieces. Let them rest for about eight minutes. There you go. See that how fantastic it looks? Alright, so see you in eight minutes. Filet mignon, in my mind, is the best cut of meat. And here we have three pieces of the filet mignon steak. It looks fantastic. It's something I love. And look at that. Look at the sear and the beauty of this. Oh my goodness. It doesn't get better than that. No, sir, it does not. <laughs>